I didn't even notice there's a little velvet case in here. Fancy. All right, so today clearly it is not Foundation Friday. Like I mentioned in last week's video, there's not gonna be a Foundation Friday video for a couple weeks because 15 Days of Foundation is starting on September 1st and I've been busy pre-filming for that. Testing out one of the foundations today, I already filmed that video this morning. I just put on the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. Trying this out, this is in the shade 72. This thing transfers every 0.2 seconds. I've already blotted like 50 times, so we'll see if this lasts the whole video. So I got some stuff online, Sephora. I feel like I haven't showed you guys a Sephora haul in forever. And I also wanted to start picking up some clothes for fall, just like new jackets and things. It's still like 80, 90 degrees in Seattle, but I'm getting ready. Macy's and American Eagle were both having crazy sales on their websites. And they're also double cash back with Ebates right now for their 24 seven promotion thing. Both those sites were having some really good sales. When I was shopping, it was like the Macy's two day sale. And then American Eagle just had a shit ton of bralettes and underwear and things on sale, so I just stocked up. If you haven't tried Ebates yet, they're freaking amazing. I've talked about them multiple times on my channel because they're honestly one of my favorite sites because you literally get free money for shopping online. I've used them for years. I 110% recommend them, which is why they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you to Ebates for collaborating with me on another video. It's basically the largest cashback site. I have a couple thousand retailers on there. Pretty much any site that you shop online at will be on Ebates. You literally just can either use the browser button, which makes it really easy because it just like pops up for you, or you can go on Ebates type in the name of the store it'll tell you how much cash back it is and you just click shop now and it like redirects you to the site and then it tracks your shopping so i'll have a link down below for ebates if this is your first time on there when you spend 25 dollars on any store you get a 10 dollars welcome bonus which is pretty sweet by the way i wanted to say sorry that wednesday's video was sponsored and so is today's the way that timing worked out with 15 days of foundation starting and just deadlines for videos this is the way that it had to go but i wouldn't be talking about ebates and we wouldn't be doing this video if i didn't genuinely love them i'll probably be talking about ebates till i'm 95 if the internet still exists. So let's jump into it. All right, so I did some damage on Sephora. What's new? I picked up about seven foundations for 15 days of foundation. So you can imagine the receipt on this thing, but I'm not gonna be showing you guys those because you'll see them coming. Maybe I'll show you a couple of them. I'll show you a couple. Whenever Sephora or Ulta is double cash back, that's a really good time to shop because you save extra money. And you can also stack it with coupons. So you can still use like your 350 off Ulta coupon or whatever you have. So the first thing I got from Sephora is a Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I've heard really good things about this from multiple people. The packaging of this kind of reminds me of like sunglasses, I think with the tortoise thing going on. This has eyeshadow shadows and contour shades in here. You get nine eyeshadows and three contour shades. Oh, it smells bomb. Okay, I thought I was getting whiffs of that. I have it on my eyes today. I use this and my face. I thought I was getting whiffs, but I was like, no, this isn't Too Faced. This is Tarte. It smells really good. That's a win. So I actually tried both of the lightest shades today on my face as contour, and I actually like the middle one better. It's a bit more cool toned. They are very pigmented, but they do blend out. So I don't find it to be like the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter Palette, whatever that was called, where they're way too pigmented and they don't blend out. These ones I feel blend a lot easier. The eyeshadows are gorgeous. Like I said, I use these all over my eyes today. It's all I have on right now. Again, pigmented, easy to blend, but they don't blend away. They also don't get muddy. I used probably like, I don't even know, six, seven shades in here on my eyes today and I didn't find them getting super muddy, which is great. So, so far I'm really happy with this. It's also hard for me to find a neutral kind of everyday palette with a cream shade that's light enough for my skin tone that I could just use like all over the lid. And this shade right here, Solstice, I think it's called. Yeah, this one is light enough for me to use under my brow bone and on my lid just as like an everyday kind of color. That's usually what I go for. So this is another YouTube made me buy it purchase. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter. They had a bunch of different shades in this and I decided to go with number three, Pink Pearl. I'm wearing this on my face right now. I tried it out. wanted to put some of the stuff on my face just so I had, you know, some thoughts on it. First of all, the pattern on here is freaking beautiful. It's like this flower, super intricate design on here. It's just beautiful. Like, I just want to stare at this. This, I'm going to need to pick up in more shades because it is gorgeous. It doesn't emphasize your texture. This is like exactly what I think a highlight should be like. Gives you the glow, but it almost has this like wet kind of sheen to it where it doesn't emphasize texture. Doesn't look like an eyeshadow. Sits beautifully on the skin. I think it is worth the money. Okay, my camera just stopped recording and my foot is completely asleep, so that was really fun trying to press record. But off the bat, I love the formula of this one. This shade I think is really pretty if you like a light pink kind of highlight. I'm definitely going to pick up more shades of this one. Also, listen to that magnetic close. So good. Ooh, I didn't even notice there's a little velvet case in here. 
fancy. So Drunk Elephant seems to be one of those brands, I can't even focus on what I'm saying right now because my foot is like hardcore tingling. <laughs> Drunk Elephant seems to be one of those brands that very few people have negative things to say about their products. It seems like they have some good shit. I tried their vitamin C Firma, like the sample size one, and I just have it in my travel makeup bag and I use it, but I don't feel like I've used it enough to really like notice a difference. I didn't think it was amazing but i really wanted to try out the tlc glycolic night serum because that's the one that people really like rave about someone with the pink cap on it the full bottles of these are like 80 90 dollars which is whoa so they have these little travel size ones you get 0.27 ounces in each one this has the virgin marula luxury facial oil in it and then the tlc one i'm really just curious about the tlc but i mean i'm gonna try the other one too some people on the reviews on sephora were saying that it helped their acne here's what it looks like i love the neon pink okay so i'm just gonna show you guys two of the foundations that i picked up for 15 days of foundation the first is the bare minerals bare pro performance liquid foundation a bunch of you guys have been asking about this so i got this one and then this i just randomly found when i was like scrolling through through Sephora. This is so freaking expensive, so I want to see if it's worth it. This is the Tom Ford waterproof foundation slash concealer. This is supposed to be like full coverage. I think this was 85 bucks or something like that. So during 15 days of foundation, we will find out if this thing is worth $85. These are super random. These are powder lipsticks. What are these actually called? Lip, Sephora lip powders. So I picked these up because Mallory, Mallory1712 did a video on the Clinique powder lipsticks and she really liked those. So I wanted to try these because I think they're only $5 or something. They were like insanely marked down. I got the 02 It's Natural and then 04 Red Hot. The Clinique ones apparently give you like a flush, almost like a tinted lip. So I'm curious to see how these ones do. What is this? I never actually got my VIB Rouge card or anything. So I don't know if this is just like a delayed thing. What is this? Uh, you get a little brush. Looks like a little travel brush. This one might be good for concealer. And then I think I used my Sephora points for these. I got the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and the Sunday Riley UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. I've definitely tried the Luna Oil, I think that's what it's called, the one in the blue bottle. I might have tried a sample of this, but I don't think I've tried it like nightly to, to see if it actually does anything. So I'm gonna give this a go. A lot of people have good things to say about Sunday Riley as well. Lately, I've been hearing a ton about Caudalie. So they had this little free sample thing. This is their essence concentrate. I think it's like a toner. I don't really know. I'll have to figure that out. To me, this looks like something you would probably put on a cotton pad like after you wash your face, I'm assuming. Okay, box is empty, so that's everything I got from Sephora. Let's move on to Macy's. So from today, August 18th to the 21st, Macy's American Eagle, uh, Eagle. <laughs> That sounded like an Israeli accent. American Eagle, Body Shop, and a few others are actually double cash back right now. So Macy's for me is kind of like hit or miss, but you can actually find some really cute things there and pretty good deals, especially when they're having one of their like major sales. So the first thing I got is actually this pair of pants. I'm gonna be trying everything on so you guys can see what it looks like on my body. But these I was so pleasantly surprised by. I don't even know what you call these. They remind me of like balloon pants or something. I feel like there's a better name for these that I just don't know. But these are the American Rag brand. I have the size zero. They're kind of high-waisted, so typically I would wear like a three-in pants or like a 25 lately. But since they're high-waisted, the zeros fit me perfectly and they actually have this stretchy back. The front has a cute button with this tie. There are tons of pockets on here, so it almost has like a cargo kind of look to it but then the bottoms scrunchy elastic so they actually like fit around your ankles i'm sure i'm 411 usually these kind of pants make me look like i have zero shape and they're just way too baggy and big these are the first ones i've ever found that actually fit and i think look really cute they're like tight in all the right places and baggy in all the right places. They look super cute with like peep toe heels. I'm gonna actually pull up my Macy's email so I can see how much each one of these were because some of them were like way marked down on sale and doesn't that always feel great? Hell yeah, I feel like I need to get another one because these are normally $44.50 and I got them for $22.99 on sale. Yeah, I'm gonna get another pair of these. So for the fall and winter, I've been looking for a jacket that's like warm enough to wear when it gets chilly out, but that actually looks cute and wouldn't look weird with like nicer outfits or for going out or whatever. So I wanted to find something that was a little bit more stylish, but still warm and practical. So I actually found this down bomber jacket. It had a few different colors in this one. I just got black because I felt like I'd wear this more. Usually in jackets, I'm an extra small. I had to get the size small in this one, and I think it is a tiny bit big. I definitely could have gone with the extra small, but they were sold out of that one. It's really comfortable. At least with this size, I could wear like a sweatshirt or something underneath, like a hoodie if I wanted to. But I think this would look really cute just every day with like jeans and stuff, or also dressed up with an outfit. The normal price isn't on this one. I got it for $59.99. I want to say it was normally like 
80 bucks maybe even more than that this one might have been actually one of the major markdowns i can't remember okay memory card just got full but we are back in action so i have a couple things that were like total fails that i'm definitely going to be returning the first is this tan like sleeveless vest jacket kind of thing the style of this is cute it's just way too big and baggy on me this is ralph Lauren size four i think the two was sold out i've been looking for a coat like this in this color i keep looking and i'm going to turn that but this one was let's look at the price holy shit see so this was normally 195 dollars would have never paid that for that. And I got it for $44.96. I wanted kind of lightweight jackets that I could just throw on with anything in the fall when it starts getting like a little bit chilly. These, again, I think I should have got the size two. I think they're just a little bit too big. I got a tan one and a black one of this jacket. A little bit too baggy in the arms and the shoulders. It's just like a little bit too boxy. So I'll be returning these. But this was originally $69.50 and I got it for $20.86. I actually have this exact shirt from Macy's in a like dark mauve color. And I love the fit and style of this it's like a short sleeve flowy has a side tie thing and it's super soft this is the american rag brand maybe i should just stick with that brand because clearly i like them i have the size small this was originally 29.50 and i got it for 14.99 i remember i got the other one on sale but it definitely wasn't 14.99 i don't really love wearing tank tops so if i can find a short sleeve shirt that's like cool enough to wear in the summer and stuff that's cute and it's also short which is great super soft really like this so this dress i thought was going to be a little bit different as you can see maybe be hopefully on the girl it looks like it's tight at the top and then kind of flowy maybe i just got a size too small i got the size extra small but it's pretty tight across like everywhere i didn't try this one on but i do love the sleeve length and everything and it's a super super soft material it almost feels like those pajama bottoms the top is like elastic which i'm not the biggest fan of because sometimes it can just make your shoulders not look the most flattering i think i'm gonna return this one it doesn't have the original price on here but that was 24.99 this is another off the shoulder one but i really like this it's just a loose flowy kind of top with these really cute side tie things on the sleeves i just tried this on and got deodorant all over it so we can ignore that the only thing with this one is that you have to wear it pretty high up on your chest for it to be flat and it's kind of hard to move in it so if you're going to be doing like a lot of arm raising and walking around and things it might be kind of annoying to keep like pulling it down but it is really cute and it's flattering i like the way this looks i like that it's flowy this one was only 14.99 so that's a super good deal and i got the size small so the last thing i got at macy's are some new high top converse i've been really into the white high top converse i've been wearing them like multiple times a week with pretty much anything i used to have black ones way back in the day but i don't have them anymore so i just picked up some black high top converse I actually get the kids in converse because they already run huge um so i get a kid's size two but these were 34.99 so i don't think they were on sale but you do still get cash back so i went slightly crazy on american eagle <laughs> everything was on sale i had to you know when you get those moves where you just want all new underwear and bras that's kind of where my head was at like how do they get so worn out so quickly i feel like i throw out underwear and get new ones really quickly is that just me Maybe I'm just getting really cheap ones. I actually have never tried the American Eagle underwear, I don't think. So this is the first time. So hopefully these are good quality. I have tried their bralettes and I picked up a ton more. So again, American Eagle is double cash back right now. But what started this whole madness is that all of their bralettes were on sale for $15, which is a really good deal because their bralettes are normally $30. So I got this really pretty, the color is like not really showing up. It's like this periwinkle lacy, super pretty bralette. I got the size medium in all of them. This almost has like neoprene neoprene is that what that's called yeah the neoprene material on the inside feels like really nice quality it's like kind of thick so i got a bunch of bralettes and then i was like well i might as well get matching underwear you know what i'm saying look at the color of this i love this one it's like bright orange with this blue flower and then i got this pair to match those lace just thong there's another lacy bralette just peach color and this one has like the double straps which i really like i like how they have the lace going below the boobage so got the matching underwear for that one this one i love because i feel like i'll get a lot of use out of this one it's just a white lacy bralette it almost has these like corset kind of lines down it but i like it because it's not like low cut or anything it's just a straight across bralette and it actually has this like inside lining kind of like a built-in cami bra got the matching periwinkle underwear and then literally just got a shit ton of lacy underwear their underwear is normally $12.50 and I got each one for $3.50 and then this top which is so freaking soft it's a one shoulder 
side, what do you call these? Has a super cute cutout thing right on the shoulder. This was $7.98 on sale. I got the size small and the material of this feels so nice, super soft and it's a little bit thick, which I like. I'm always on the lookout for good filming tops, which sounds ridiculous, but it is kind of hard because you only see like here up. So you have a really limited space to wear like a cute top. All right, I think that's everything I got. That was exhausting. I feel like that was a really long haul, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'll have a link for eBay down below in the description box if you want to check it out. You can get your free $10 if you haven't tried out Ebay's before. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.